This is something I've been working on for a while. It's a gravity feed, uh, solar powered water system for the house. Uh, it's, it works if you're in an area where there's no hard freezes. Uh, you could also use it for things like uh, cattle stock tanks and whatever. Anytime you need to uh, pump water, it could be a home fish pond, anything like that. But uh, as you can see, we've got a couple relatively small solar panels here. They're 240 waters. And we have our water tank. And the only thing going on in the water tank, we have a switch. Let me get a close-up of the switch. This is a switch sitting on top of the water tank, as you can see. Got this uh, stainless steel pan I screwed to the top of it to keep water out of it. And this is what one of the switches look like off of there. There's not much to it. There's normally open, normally closed positions. Uh, there's a string on it that, that the uh, floats are tied to. And there's a lever when the string uh, gets pulled. The lever pulls the switch, activates it. The floats are in here. Nothing special. Just a couple floats like that. And uh, the switch leads down to the panels and turns the power off on and off to the pump which is downstairs and we'll go look at that next. Before I forget, uh, the water tank is connected through the bottom to a two inch pipe. It goes down this way and simply connects into the house water system. You can see a valve there, a red valve to shut it on and off. Uh, and that's it. It goes down into the house system that way. And now let's go downstairs and take a look at the pump that pumps the water back up this direction. The wires come from the solar panel. Right now they're just draped over the front of the building. It's not beautiful. We're going to put them inside uh, if we decide this is going to work well enough. And they run down the face of the building. They come across here uh, to this little pump right here. And there's not much to it. It's a 24 volt pump. It's two liters a minute, which is very, very minuscule amount. It's hooked over here to the, from the uh, intake of the, the city intake. Uh, we have a sand filter back here somewhere. You can't see it somewhere. Back in there, there's a sand filter. And it runs down here. Comes through the pump. It's just a diaphragm pump. It's uh, typical working pressure is about 80 PSI. It's capable of 130 PSI, which is a lot. And that's one of the reasons I have this uh, cutoff switch, a pressure cutoff switch on here. And you can see it's just, uh, this is all just out of one of these, uh, what do they call them, reverse osmosis systems. So the pump goes, is wired through here through the switch. It's got a fuse in there, a uh, one-way valve on here to keep water from backing up through it. And then it comes back to this side and this goes back into the house over there. Uh, so this is it. There's three persons living in the house. And so far this is a two liter per minute, uh, again, 24 volt pump. Uh, running on those two panels on the roof. It's running right now, not particularly warm as you can see I'm touching it with the back of my hand. Uh, if we choose to go through with this, I've got an upgraded pump. It looks like this. This is uh, 15, no, 17 liters a minute. However, it requires 15 amps of power, so it'll be a lot bigger, a lot bigger uh, solar panel to run it. But uh, roughly the same size, I don't know if you can see that, roughly the same size shape as this one. So uh, this is our test. This is our test to see if uh, it's going to work and so far actually it's working perfectly. Perfectly. So yeah, I've been really happy with it. It's been running for a week and no issues. You can hear it running right now. Just uh, ran some water out of the house to make it run. But usually it uh, fills that 1600 liter water tank on the roof by uh, between 12 o'clock noon and 1.30 in the afternoon every day. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. And that's rain or shine. It's so, again, uh, very happy with it. And uh, that's pretty much the whole system. Not much to it. Well, hope you found it interesting and perhaps useful.